The last few days have been some of the most painful, the most miserable, and the most interesting that I've ever experienced, maybe. I don't know. What has happened? This has probably been the most weird, and I mean that. I mean that much so. I mean that this this week has been the weirdest week that I've ever been a part of, maybe. I have officially confirmed to myself that I will never, ever believe anything on whatever the hell that app is called now. Apparently there is some conspiracy theory going around about Shohei Otani. The conspiracy theory is very, very, very weird. The conspiracy needs to be a little bit talked about as in, is this even legitimately true? But let's take a second to talk about how weird this week has been. When I tell you that this week has been weird, it almost seems like it should have been an episode out of The Office. It was so strange and really, I don't know if it even really happened. It all started with a John Morosi tweet talking about how legitimately Shohei Otani is on a plane. There were other people. I don't need to mention them or show any type of what their name is because they, they do not deserve to be shown to anybody except for the prison cell. People everywhere were eating this up because they believed it. Obviously, if it was tweeted by somebody as legitimate as that, you would think it would be f***ing real. Baseball reporting and baseball any type of news has become some type of made up thing now. We are legitimately at the point where we can sit there. We can sit in our chairs. Where did this begin? Man, where did this become a thing? What is information? Why am I reading these made up tweets that don't even exist? This is a f***ing disgrace and it doesn't make any sense to people. What team is going to be screwed next? This is this week has made no fucking sense. Madness. It's it's pure madness. I am I'm still not even knowing what the hell was going on. Now. And now I'm already seeing Cody Bellinger rumors to Toronto. I can't do this again. I will not believe anything on that damn app ever again. I mean that with everything that's in my body right now. I, 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 I won't. I will not do it. I will never, ever, ever again believe anything on that app. I don't care what someone says to me. Okay. The Shohei Otani conspiracy is a very interesting one. I'm not even really sure if I understand what the hell it is. For some reason, I already have the tweet up. This is how it all began if it didn't already begin before. I've said it 10 damn times, I don't need to say it again. In fact, John Morosi has gone rogue ever since he tweeted that and then tweeted the apology. He hasn't tweeted in two days now. Is that concerning? Where is John Morosi? Like, is this guy legitimately in shambles? Because he hasn't even said anything after that. I saw it earlier and I can't find it anymore. I saw something, it was like some screenshot showing pretty much the Jays got taken for a ride. Something in regards to somebody made some type of burner Twitter account. Somebody of a reliable person made some, or not, I don't know if it was some burner or it was some Twitter account who hasn't tweeted in a decade, tweeted the fact that Otani was on his way to Toronto and then it scared the Dodgers. If you don't think that a lot of people are talking about this, they are. I only know this because earlier I woke up and I was just tagged in a bunch of tweets. Jared Karabis, I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry. He tweeted earlier. He said that he's going, he wants, what? He's going to find, where is the damn tweet? He tweeted that he's looking for people in Blue Jays Twitter who want to discuss the Shohei Otani conspiracy. He probably picked the two. I, listen, I don't think I would be right for that. I don't want to go on that. I have no business being on that. I'm just some idiot who sits here and plays video games. I don't need to be on that. Real important people are actually going to be on that. And he probably picked the two most important people to be on. We are at the point where legitimate people in the baseball media industry are getting on a podcast and are discussing this. It's not even showing up. Conspiracy. Is that how you spell it? After a weekend of conspiracy theories and fan frustration. I don't give a shit what Ben... Wait, wait, wait. Is this it? Is this it? Here it is. Show you. 
Wait, no, I was from the seventh. Joey Otani, the guy everyone thought was on the plane, and Robert, the guy who was actually on the plane, are both represent. Oh, that was something regarding that, too. Something about how the CAA, which is the Creative Artist Agency, which I have never heard before, I don't think. Something about how Robert is a part of that, and that was initially in the John Morosi tweet. That is what I think kind of started this or something. This is, I think, where it began. He tweeted something regarding that it is a CAA, yeah, here it is, a representative of his agency would not comment when asked about Otani's travel plans. So what the f*** does that mean? I don't believe anything anymore. So when somebody, a human being, tells me that there is a Shohei Otani conspiracy, I can't believe it. And you know why? Because I have been led to believe as a human living on this planet that when it comes to any type of news baseball related, you can't believe it. That's that that is my reasoning for not believing in anything anymore. This is turned into a shit show. Somebody said that if Blue Jays fans were not led to believe that he was actually coming to Toronto, if there was just no rumors, nothing, and then he just signed the Dodgers, whatever. Who cares? Or I care. But it's not as bad. Now we have to deal with the conspiracy. Dude. You know how crazy this has gotten? I have honestly no idea who tweeted this again because I've lost my mind and I have no idea who tweets anything anymore. Somebody actually tweeted that if Shohei Otani gets to Rogers Center, it's on site or something. People are losing their minds over this shit. People are actually willing to fight Shohei Otani. I don't think that this is... Twitter is just a nightmare. Twitter is so damn weird and just weird things happen on it all the damn time. I don't know what is happening anymore. Isn't that just how f***ing business works? Shohei Otani was clearly at the point. This guy was... Would, he would have gone to any damn team in baseball probably. He would have walked in the door. He would have said, you know what, dude? What do you got? The offer would have been put on the table. And then if the Dodgers, which obviously was going to be the team that outbid everybody, let's not bullshit anybody here. Let's not BS anybody. The Dodgers were outbidding every person for him. He wanted to see what he could get from certain teams. And then the Dodgers found out and panicked apparently. And then they just offered him some crazy amount of money that they could not or that he could not refuse. Is that what I have gathered from what the hell this conspiracy is? Because I don't, if I'm missing something, I need, I need to know. Twitter has, Shohei Otani was legitimately trended and the conspiracy theory was also with it for most of the day today. I really don't know how we're at the point now where Bob Nightingale is correcting reporters. I also saw something, I don't know how true it is again, because I don't believe anything. John Heyman, I can't even go to his damn Twitter account because he blocked me. Yeah. I don't even know what I did. I think I said I was going to kick his ass or something. I just want baseball Twitter to be a reasonable thing. I want it to be not a just rumor mill full of f***ing craziness. Because next off season, it's going to happen again. And I don't know if everyone, does anyone even give a shit anymore? I think I found the screenshot that everybody was quoting earlier, which honestly, I have no idea why this had what it even means i'm kind of dumb on friday reports broke that otani signing was imminent and that he was headed to toronto to sign with the blue jays the report was completely erroneous who the f is using that word the dodgers didn't know that they held meetings friday night with an air of worry the rumors were likely false they decided but they still created angst amongst the los angeles executives you just don't know says one of the dodger executives when asked about the Friday night meeting. That's the best way to describe it. We just didn't know. It was not a comfortable feeling. So basically, again, this just boils in the bubbly water. Burner Twitter accounts and many things ruined it for somebody and the Dodgers panicked and then just... Is that what happened? The Dodgers wouldn't have offered him that much money, apparently, or something, if they didn't find out this rumor? This is a shit show. I don't believe anything. Because, let's be honest, if I'm going to sit in this damn chair right now, I, I'm sitting here. If I sit in this damn chair and I sit here and think to myself, if Shohei Otani ever thought about going to Toronto, well, that would have been amazing. But what are the damn odds? I think every Blue Jays fan should stand up, walk to the bathroom, and say to yourself, was it ever happening?
because I don't think it was. And if that's, that's my coping mechanism. If I just lie to myself and say that he never considered it, I will believe it myself. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. I am going insane. I am going physically and mentally insane. Just reading everything on this damn website now. And now we have tweets, which is legitimate apparently. Somebody tweeted that Cody Bellinger's girlfriend posted a picture of Toronto. Now Blue Jays fans are going to be led to believe that Cody Bellinger is going to become to Toronto. I can't do with this again. Every single day, I am a mess. I am a physical mess from all of the craziness that's happened, dude. It's just a mess. I just want to go back to a time where baseball news reporting besides Jeff passing was actually accurate information. I wish I could show, I don't even know who the hell it was. I've never even seen them before on this damn app. I've never seen them before, so I have no idea how many people actually saw the tweets. The, if I could make a list of the amount of people who were apparently legitimate sources saying that Otani was going to Toronto because they were the favorite. I would be here for the rest of the night. There was 50, there was some f***ing idiot who tweeted out that Otani's press conference with the Jays is going to start at like 6 p.m. or something. And this guy apparently is someone who works in the media. What the f*** is this damn website? I have I have no words anymore. I don't know. I I am I'm I, this is something I will be miserable about for the rest of my life. This we have been led to believe that the greatest baseball player of all time, possibly ever to walk the planet, was on his way to this city and it was never a thing. I don't know. This is this is a mess. Absolute mess what this is. I need to see what the conspiracy is. I need to see what the hell even happened. All I know is there apparently is one somewhere. I have no idea what the hell it even involves. Basically what I said may have been the main part of it. Something, t burner Twitter accounts, fake information, people scaring people purposely, people in the same agency as other people and people shouldn't have known the information. Just a mess. It is. Honestly, it's hard to find a ranked seasons game anymore and BR is kind of very much scary so i just decided to pretty much uh pretty much talk about the week of what just happened because or not even week it was pretty much the last 24 hours and it was just pure misery anyway i am uh I'm, uh, I don't know. I, I'm hungry, actually. I might go make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and cry into it so the bread will be extra moist.